Stakeholders in the health sector are calling for increased budget allocation and funding at all government levels, citing low percentages allocated over the years. Now, they blame the government policies for the decline and advocate for more accessible policies. They urge the government to prioritize healthcare funding to address challenges like inadequate infrastructure, equipment, and personnel. Some also call for the federal government to allow alumni of federal tertiary institutions to run and fund tertiary health facilities across the country. I believe it's the responsibility of government to fund its own institutions. And we have seen a lot of areas where money can be saved to support social services. And social services, I'm talking about health, education, food security, those are the things that are important to the people. We need the alumni, and uh, this, I think this would be a model that we should recommend to all the institutions in Nigeria, that each institution should liaise with the alumni and bring them on board so that they can contribute to the growth of these institutions. Um, there's no way that government can fund all of education, especially tertiary education, to be frank. And actually run the university better and fund the university better than what the federal government is doing. So that they can access, I mean if you want to go to the school in the US, you're paying 60,000 US dollars. So that's why many of these private universities are picking up and, you know, Covenant is now, in fact, some of the rankings rank it as number one. It's because they have money, if they need things to, so, and of course, he who pays the piper dictates the tune. The lecturers and all their um, admin staff will be on their toes. You know, but when it's government, anything goes. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.